you can make this game in around 10 minutes. Don't believe me? Well, keep watching because I will show you exactly how to do it. You don't need to download or install anything, just go to rpgplayground.com, register for free and start creating your game. Now, a new game starts with an empty level. And on the left here, you can see the edit panel and on the top, you see different tabs. Now, the first tab is called scenery tab and it contains all kinds of static scenery that you can add to your level. But these things will not interact with your player. That's why we have the second tab, which is the actors tab. And here, all the things that can interact with your player will be available. So we have human characters, other characters, but we also have like monsters, animals, and finally some objects like doors or pickups that you can interact with. Next up is the project tree. So this contains everything of your current game project. And the most important part here are the levels. You can add a level or go to existing ones. Then we have a properties tab, but it's currently disabled. So let's click on an actor and then you can see all kinds of properties that you can configure. And finally, there's also a menu where you can restart your game or go full screen. So let's start to create our first level. First, we're going to pick a good tile set, which is the RevMap Buildings. Let's go down a bit and we want to create a road. So let's drag it down and then drag it to the right a bit. Okay. Now you can see some different tools here. So the second tool is an eraser. So here you can erase an entire object. And the third one is to erase single tiles. Now we also have a rectangle tool here and we will use that one to create the house. So let's drag out the house here like that. And let's also create some fields here for a farmer. Now let's continue decorating. So RefMap Outdoor has some nice tiles. Let's select a tree here and center our scene a bit. We pick the paint tool again and let's keep adding things here. So first the tree, then some kind of tree trunk. And we can keep decorating things here. A well, which is also useful for farmers. And a scarecrow for the fields. Some barrels. Now, next up what I want to show you is RPG Playground has auto tiling, which means when you place an object, you see it goes behind or in front of it. Seems logical, but most game engines actually don't support this. So let's add it there. Let's add something else here. And we can also add some veggies on the field. Some salad here. And a haystack. Now let's add some things for the house. So we have a ref map house here. Let's add a chimney on the top. And we can also add a window here with some flowers. And we also have a tile map with some bigger trees. So let's see if we can add a few of them. For example, here one and maybe here one. And a few mushrooms to make the level to give it a bit more color basically like that all right it looks good this is for the scenery so let's add a few actors first up we can add a farmer let's place him here and then also a door to get into the house like that so first level is done Let's create a new level. We do that in the project tree. So here we can add a new level. Let's call it house and we pick indoor medium. And let's start decorating again. So we pick uh, this middle here, rectangle tool. We select the wall. Okay. Maybe add a few windows here with the paint tool. And what else is here? We have a table, okay, let's put some bottles on it. And we also have a fireplace, like that. All right, let's go to another tile set, this one, 
It has some nice things. For example, a kitchen. And a, a red sofa, like that. Also some cupboards. Now you can also use the rectangle tool for this one. You can drag it out as long or as short as you want. So let's pick it like this. And that's about it for this one. Now I will show you some other tools. So let's first pick another tile set. So we can select this tile for example and you can select the fill tool and then you can fill an entire floor like that or a wall or whatever you want. We also have a move tool to move the object that you already placed, which can be very convenient. And then finally, we also have a picker tool. If you want to know where certain tiles came from, you just click on it and it goes to the correct tile set and also selects the right tiles. Now this level also needs a door, so let's go to the objects. Normally for indoor levels, we pick this kind of light beam to be able to go back outside. So if we click on it, we go to the properties and the door behavior needs to go to the first level and the door in that level. Now let's go back to the first level and configure a bit more. So we pick this door and this one needs to go to the house and the door in that house. Now let's add some interactive features. Normally you would code these kind of things, but RPG Playground, you can do that without any code. So let's click on the farmer. And when we bump into the farmer, we can do some actions. So by default, the hero will say hello and then the farmer will say hi, but we're gonna delete both of these actions and create a new one. So click on the plus. First, who needs to do something? Well, the farmer. Then what does the farmer do? We can select all kinds of things, but we just want it to say something. So farmer says something. So here's the subject, the action. And now we can say what to say. Please help me, there are monsters in my house. Like that. All right. And we also want to add a second action and that is he needs to go to the side. You see now he's in the way of the door. So we want him to go to the side. We add a new action. The farmer walks towards. Okay, and then we also need to set a position and we will pick that position. Okay, so now we have, he says something and then he walks towards the side. We can test it out. So we just close this panel here and then you can see I can walk around with my hero here. Now, the cool thing about RPG Playground is you can just continue editing at any point. So you just open up the tools again and you can add, remove things and continue playing. Most other tools also don't feature this. First you have an editor, then you have to build your game, then you have to restart your game and play it and then go back to the editor. So it's very cumbersome. RPG Playground makes this way easier. Okay, so let's test it out. We go to the farmer. He says, please help me. There are monsters in my house. Okay, and he moves aside. Then we enter the house. All right, now we are in the house, so let's add some more things. We're gonna add some monsters here. So let's add monsters and animals. And we can pick this monster, for example. Let's place it here. We also have a demon. We can place it there. And we also want to have a farmer's son in here. Maybe this one. Okay. Now when we reach the farmer's son, we also want him to say something. So when touched, the hero doesn't say anything. So we're gonna delete this one. And this one we can adapt. So we click it, it opens up the details. And then here we can let him say, thank you for saving me. All right. Now let's test out the entire game. So we click here, we do restart game. We can still add a few animals to make the level a bit more alive. So let's go back to monsters and animals. We can add a butterfly here, maybe another one there. And then we can have a dog at the bottom here and a cat there. Okay, that's a level that is nicely alive. All right, let's go to the farmer. Please help me, there are monsters in my house. Moves aside. So now we enter the house 
and we have to fight with the monsters here make sure we don't die all right and now we can go to the sun and he says thank you for saving me and that's the game so this is really how easy it is to create your own games there is no other tool that really makes it this simple now don't forget to like this video and also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any new content now that your game is finished how do you publish it so other people can play it well it's really easy first on the game page you go up to set the title and the description and then at the bottom you can set game visibility now by default it's private but you can set it to released and then everybody can play your game and it will also be shown in the list of games if you set it public it will be available but not shown in the list and you can also password protect your game now go and create your game and if it's finished definitely share it with the rest of us have fun